could have sworn I had VR1 somewhere. If you haven't noticed what the title of the video is describing what the video is for today, we are doing some maintenance to the Integra. So if you keep up to date in the last couple of videos, you know that we are going to this Cletus and Cards event, which is Saturday. Today is Friday. Tonight is also the Simply Clean Pre-Meet, and there's a whole bunch of lint from under this. I haven't pulled this off in like a month. Anyways, so there's a Simply Clean Pre-Meet tonight. As 99% of you guys know, I did not get accepted to Simply Clean because first of all, it's not really clean. And second of all, our priority is going towards Cletus and Cars because we want to go down there, see Boosted Boys, PFI Speed, and the whole gang, and hang out, and hopefully, you know, run a new personal best with the car. So for maintenance wise, I really wanted to do the transmission fluid. As you can see, I've got the Torco right here. I thought I had two quarts of VR1 that I normally keep two quarts or three quarts extra, but right now I can't find it. So uh, I'm picking up spark plugs from Shane later tonight. The 2668, I think is the one that we run. Um, and I have to go buy some VR1 right now. So let's go get some VR1. Okay, so we are on the road right now. I'm heading over to Napa. It's like a 15 minute drive, not too bad. Um, Advanced Auto Parts here in town sometimes stocks it. Um, AutoZone normally keeps like two quarts of it, but it's really hit or miss with them. So we're just gonna head over to Napa. I know that they always keep a good stock. I run the 2050 VR1. It's always done good for me, it has great additives. Uh, my old Integra, I used to run the uh, Mobile One Full Synthetic. Not a problem with that, but this one just has more additives. and for um, our specific application. It's a little thicker for my looser clearances that I have in the motor, just so it can, you know, rev happy and whatnot. So uh, yeah, let's head over to Napa. Not too bad of a drive. We're here at Napa Auto Parts, Vanilla, Florida. And uh, yeah, let's go get some VR1. Twenty fifty. Here we go. Oh right. So we have five quarts of oil uh, that cost forty-four dollars, I think it was. This key and ignition always gets so sticky. Sometimes I gotta take the key out and put it back in like five times before it'll actually turn. There we go. All right. So now we are heading to, I don't know where we're heading. I'm not sure if I'm feeling a coffee and a breakfast or if I just wanna go back home and get started on the car. Uh, in other news, thanks to Alex Cordova, we have a tachometer. So this is one of the super comp monster ones with the big old LED, I think it's LED flashlight or whatever, you turn it on or you get to your RPM where to shift and it flashes you in the face. So I won't be shifting super early anymore. Thank you, thank you Alex, appreciate you. So um, this is set up off the shelf for a V8 and uh, obviously you know it's a four cylinder what I have and I was looking at their instructions last night. There's a two pulse or one pulse four cylinder setting um, by the time you're watching this, I'm probably already going to know what it is, but I need to do a little research on that just so I can verify I have it on the right settings and whatnot. And, um, yeah, so I got oil to change for the engine oil to change for the transmission. I have that Torco fluid that you saw earlier and you also saw my Instagram. Um, I'm getting spark plugs from Shane, putting the tack in. I have to go over all the bolts. I, I like just making sure that everything's torqued down, nothing torqued down, nothing came off like vibration wise. Uh, engine mounts, bell housing bolts, um, then like little stuff like the, the torque plate or the, um, not the torque plate, the mid plate. I like going over all that stuff, making sure that it's all good before a race day. I know tonight is just a simply cre clean preemie and we're probably not gonna be doing any racing, but you know, I just like to be ready for tomorrow. Aside from that, it is 10 a.m. right now, and I wanted to roll out with Max around 3, so that gives us a, gives us a couple hours to do what we need to do. Uh, the most time-consuming thing will be 
wiring the tech because I have to do that research and figure out exactly what setting we need to put it on, which isn't a big deal. So besides that, we should be ready in a couple hours. I might, uh, you know, maybe even wash the car. Who knows? But uh, yeah, let's head over to the next scene and we'll actually get working on the Integra. I guess it still works. It's pretty loud, but it's crazy the happiness of turning on your car if you haven't turned it on in like a month. Off. I really just wanted to heat up the engine a little bit. I let it idle for about a minute just so the since the, the oil is so thick It can uh, get a little hot and easier to drain that way I'm not waiting for it to drain for like 10 minutes So I'm just gonna undo the battery again through that battery I haven't touched it in over a month Like I said the car hasn't been touched in over a month and it started right up. It's Carlos tuning for you Boom battery nice and charged <laughs> Just gonna come over here and to be honest, I don't even have to take off the trailer. I can just drain the fluids right there. Transmission, engine oil, both real easy. And I was looking, I was worried about having to like maneuver the truck and trailer into the garage because last time it took like two minutes, maybe three, four minutes to back it up and everything doing like six, seven turns to make it fit perfectly. Because as you can see, it's pretty tight, but my trailer driving skills have been getting kind of better. One thing I just noticed right now, pulling this out, I just grabbed it by hand and pulled it out and this tire, right up here is really old and worn. The hinge over here is terrible. So I think I'm just gonna buy another one of this and shoot, it should be really easy to even park it right there and then maneuver just with my hand to get it in and everything. So looking at the time, it's like a little past one o'clock right now. Uh, if I wanted to make the Simply Clean, clean pre-meat, I should have left here around three, which I still have time technically. Oil and transmission fluid isn't gonna take that long to drain and whatnot, but I wanted to put the tack in. I wanted to make sure the everything else was good. I really didn't want to rush anything, and to enjoy tonight at the Simply Clean Pre-Meet, I don't think I'm going to take the car, to be honest. I, worst case, like, best case scenario, I make it in time, and 3 o'clock comes around, and I'm done with everything. Best case scenario. But, you know, I'm not going to rush. I'm just going to enjoy working on the car. I haven't touched it in a while. I've been working on the CRX, obviously. You guys have been following the build on it. Um, so I'm going to take this time kind of for myself. A lot of times I feel like I need to rush things just to get out content for you guys and not to say that I don't love doing it, but sometimes I feel like, oh, I have to do this just so uh, they can see that I'm still up to date with everything and whatnot, which there's nothing wrong with it, but I really want to just take this moment to myself and enjoy the Integra because I haven't in such a long time. So if you bear with me, I'm just going to probably put the camera on time lapse and enjoy draining my oil like I haven't in a while. and. Just do a little stuff on the Integra that I miss doing. Something about draining the oil in your built car is just, I don't know. Maybe it's just a feeling of nostalgia since I haven't worked on this in a pretty long time. I know it's only been a couple months since I've actually worked on it and like a month since I've actually driven it, but I miss this thing. And tomorrow, I have the skinnies on in the back right now. I think tomorrow I'm gonna put the radials in the back because um, the front slicks, I wonder if I have them handy right now. Okay, right over here. So the front slicks of the car, one of them has a little bit of run out right there. With every pass, it's starting to get more even. Um, it's not that much of an issue now, but on the first few passes on those slicks, it was really sketch between the pool to one side and the rear end having its play because it's skinnies. So just to be safe, I'm going to run the radials up back. And uh, I don't know why I'm saying that right now, but I don't know. I miss working on this. 
So the engine oil is almost done draining out. It's just trickling right now. And I have, I'm probably only gonna need like four quarts in it, maybe a little bit more. I have five quarts of the VR1. I also have that Torco fluid somewhere around here, back over there. So after I'm done with the engine oil, then I'll drain out the transmission oil and then we'll be good to add the new fluids. By the way, for everybody saying that the dryer ducking wasn't gonna hold up, I know it's got a little dings, that's just from the insulation, but it got uh, 30 pounds of boost when it spiked the other day. It went 30 pounds of boost and no collapsing, went over 130, I think, it trapped. Because I had the mess up and I let off, but trapped over 130, 30 pounds of boost, no issues there. Whoever said you can't use uh, the duct on the intake side of uh, before the compressor on the turbo, they lied. <laughs> nah, all love, all love, but uh, it actually held up well. I still want to fabricate a nice piece for it, but for now it's holding up and for now it won't be an issue. Of course, I have the screen mesh and clamps and everything to hold it in place nice and secure, but uh, it's working. Draining out the fluid. I think it was a little bit low because I saw right here, this bolt, if you can tell. Hmm, if it focuses on it. You can kind of see that it's been hit and down there it's been hit too. And when I touched it, it was like finger tight and there was drips right here, which would explain why I found fluid in my uh, garage. So what I'm thinking happened is when I drove onto the trailer a couple months ago, because this one I already make sure that nothing touches. Um, I think what happened is that it knocked it loose and it was leaking fluid from that point forward. So if I was low on fluid, that's why. And now I tighten it back up, obviously, and then uh, it seems to be good now, but nothing seems to be coming out, like any sparkly stuff out of here, so we should be good. I want to see how the tor Torco actually does on this, and we'll go from there. Okay, we have our Torco M Factory compatible fluid, or whatever you want to call it. I have the VSS uh, taken out right now in a little funnel right there. And then the side port taken off so when it gets to its level it can start pouring out of there kind of to indicate so i think i'm going to be able to pour around these lines and should be good Got our oil all topped off to the proper level. And I put about four in, got one extra, as well as like a third of Torco extra. So worst case scenario, if we have a little leak, we can top it off. It's always good to have a little extra fluids, especially when you go out racing or to the track. And uh, yeah, that should be good fluid wise. I'm going to, I really want to change the coolant reservoir because uh, you guys know that for the past couple of years, I've been rocking a Rockstar can, which has been effective, but with this new setup for the uh, expansion tank or whatever you want to call it, um, having it route back there, uh, when it starts coming out, if, if anything, it starts like pulling out and then it's not at the bottom anymore and it can't attract the fluid back up. So I really want to get the OEM style again, which just, just sits like right about here. And I don't have the one off the Integra. Now I do have, uh, the OEM one for the CRX, as you can see over there. Um, I think I'll just probably use that and then like ratchet strap it or something onto the chassis somewhere because I don't have the mount for the Integra and I don't have the mount for the CRX anyways. So um, yeah, but that's not a big deal. I'm just gonna fix that in a second and uh, we'll pick up some plugs tonight from Shane. See what I'm telling you guys about going over the car, making sure all the bolts are nice and tight and whatnot. For example, last time we went to the track, our clutch stop broke and we ended up trying to use one of the bell housing bolts as a temporary clutch stop. We ran into some other issues, but that's not the important thing. The important thing is I never put the bell housing bolt back in. So now we have our complete set of bell housing bolts. Come to find out I was missing another bolt as well. I'm an idiot. The one that goes right above the sleeve. Another bell housing bolt. We got it now. Okay, let's awkwardly skip forward about 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, the Integra is done being prepped up. All I have to do left is, or all I have left to do is uh, make a bag with some tools and load up the jack. I'm in my truck right now. I'm going to the Simply Clean pre-meet. I'm not taking my car. Uh, two reasons. Well, I don't know if I've touched over this on the video before. Anyways, if I did it, basically, I don't want to rush loading it, unloading it, and going over there and trying to find a good spot and be worried about the car and whatnot. I just want to have fun with it. So 
heading down to the pre-meet right now. I just got to stop and get gas and it should be a pretty good pre-meet. See if we can get some food over there. I think there's a couple food trucks and if there isn't, just hang out with cool people. So if you're over there, hope I said hi to you tonight. See you soon. We pulling in. It has plastic windows, so you know it it's fast. Yeah. All carbon. Even the trim is carbon. Got the quick release buttons. A roll cage? So you're gonna start up for us, bro? This is carbon. What's up, Bobby? How's it going, dude? It's freaking crazy. It looks like nostrils. <laughs> Max, why couldn't you use that gimbal when you were recording last time at Bradenton? That's a dude. <laughs> Yo, the video know, was like this. It was. I still love so I was doing this the whole time. Look at that stabilization. Look, look at that. Look at that stabilization, boy. That's crazy. A bunch of fast cars here. Is that a trap yeah. house? Look at that. That's what all these YouTubers are out here, bro. What's going on? Look at the serenity oh, of that movement. Who's another YouTuber? Not me. Not me. <laughs> All the cameras. I'm in picture mode today, not video. Hit that three step. Leads out here. Woo, I need them LEDs on the Integra. What are you gonna do? I'll do it. I'll, I'll do I'm following. I'm, I'm, yeah? I'm unsubscribed. I like that. Unsubscribe? What? I'll beat someone up. Like it. Bro. There's no Hondas here. Go home. <laughs> Why are you so mean? Bro, you missed it. I like saw um, what do you call it? You know how there's like vape nation? Uh huh. So I call it scrape nation. Oh yeah. So it's like this dude comes in, his Every bumper's car. like hanging off. He goes to back in, bumper rips off. Oh my god. <laughs> Completely just sit there. <laughs> Whoa. Look at the things that it's got. So nice. This guy. Hey, is that your Corvette? Bat? With the. Thing? Where is your Corvette? Oh. All right, sick. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. Skinny's on that tire. Ooh, Look at that. About to send it. He's gonna send, send it, dude. Whoa. Whoa. He's got one of those. Tiring. Wow. I'll, I'll do it if BC gives me the go. Do it. If BC points gives me the go, I'll do it. Send it. Send you can it. do it. Go ahead. Where's my guy? I give you permission. Go ahead. Hey, Max said it was fine. Yeah. Do it for YouTube. Do it for the vlog. SP tuning. Do it for the vlog. Blow the ring. Is BC over there? If I don't see a piston out the side, it's not enough. Get out the car. Get out the car. Send that shit. Talking about Scrape Nation? Yeah. Dude, no, you heard the guy. He was like, Scrape, 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 Scrape. Very funny. On the floor. Uh, Is that a pineapple? Low. Nice. Finally, some nice cars. Honda Life. Hey, dog. He got him back. He got him. Rescued. Oh, that was the one that was running away? Now that's what I call a rescue dog. <laughs> Is that a Shit Civic? What, what are you doing here, bro? Oh. Hey. The, no, the Evo no. Oh yeah, the Evo is yeah. nice. This is, Civic? What? What is this? What? Uh, oh, this guy doesn't want to sponsor me or anything. 
Oh man. I don't know who that is. Matt? Adam's polished. I like that. Who is the most important person here? We got the man right Simple here, Fuego. Right there. That's it. Reppin with the Jimble. The, j the j Jimbalaya? The Jimbly. <laughs> Right. And I said it before on the vlogs and I'll say it again. I love that primer gray color. It's like my favorite color for a car. I really need to paint one with that color. I would say that's a bit excessive. Just a little too much. That's beautiful. Oh my, yes. That's, uh, that's something. Hey, Max, your people. Finally. Yeah, right? Now that's a car. That's my people's right there. So cute. All right, so uh, the free meet was pretty good. I got here as a lot of cars were starting to leave, so I didn't see any of the crazy stuff. I'm sure the show is going to be awesome. Unfortunately, like I'm, like I said, I'm not going to be attending it since I'm going to Cleveland some cars, which is a much better show to go to, I think. So right now, Shane has a little something special for tomorrow. So we're going to head over to his shop and uh, show you guys what it is. Yeah, that boy, Shane. That boy Shane on the phone. Hi YouTube. This vlog is all over the place. We went from simply clean pre meat. No, we went from prepping the car to simply clean pre meat to getting to Shane's shop and now add sushi with Shane. Yeah. So we're about to have us some sushi and then we'll probably do the reveal of what we're doing tomorrow. Oh yeah. Your video's probably gonna be up before mine because I'm a slacker. <laughs> Run from the water that's on the It's you. It's a me. It's a you. Uh, from man. Froman. Froman. <laughs> this man got a freaking Taurus for tomorrow's demo drags. Okay, so that pretty much concludes the video for tonight. Uh, I know the vlog has been kind of all over the place, starting off with, uh, what did we start off with? Working on the car to then going to Simply Clean pre meat then going to Shane's, get sushi, and now we just picked up that car. So we are gonna be at Cletus and Cars tomorrow, which by the time you're watching this, it'll probably be sometime early in the morning. So we're gonna be at Cletus and Cars November 10th. It's a demolition drag racing. The Integra will be drag racing. The Taurus will be demolition drag racing. So if you aren't familiar with that, they've done it in a couple other Cletus and Cars events. You're basically drag racing and crashing into the other people that you're drag racing. So it's pretty awesome. It's unique. And we're looking to have a bunch of fun tomorrow. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Uh, like I said, sorry about all the jumping around today. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and have a good afternoon. Thanks for watching always. Have a good one.